The moments immediately after a disaster strikes are the most critical. What are the exact coordinates of the disaster area? How has the infrastructure been affected? How many people are trapped? What is the viability of ingress and egress routes? These questions require immediate answers and prompt response. This is the difference between life and death. This is Artemis. Artemis is an end-to-end -end kit that lets you control your collection from the very beginning all the way through dissemination. It provides you the application to acquire high-resolution data and imagery within an hour. It gives you a way to present the current situation on the ground to leadership, operators, rescuers, first responders, so that they can see right now this is what it looks like on the ground and you can continuously update that for them. Artemis's unique ability to receive and read real-time updates allows for safer and more effective rescue operations. You can pre-fly schools, hospitals. You're able to better pre-plan prior to showing up to the building and being able to handle the emergency situation more efficiently. Being able to utilize an unmanned drone is pretty awesome. I mean, it's gonna expedite the amount of time we have on ground. You know, just bringing another tool to the mission and allow us to uh, perform the task with less people in a faster amount of time. Artemis stands for Aero Reconnaissance Tactical Edge Mapping and Imagery System, and it is a self-contained geospatial tool that allows users to collect, aggregate, analyze imagery. The Artemis cameras will collect to three centimeters of imagery. Every three centimeters of collection, you're going to see the correct terrain. Many commercial satellites that are providing imagery to first responders are at a 30 centimeter resolution, which is 10 times as large as what Artemis can provide. Three centimeter, roughly one inch resolution means you can see down to a mirror on the side of a car. You can see a victim laying maybe half covered in rubble, or you can see very small items on the ground because each pixel is only one inch large. Artemis kits are comprised of two primary components, one being the EB drone and the other being your Google Earth Enterprise platform, or Jeep. Jeep provides an easy to read and navigate environment similar to Google Earth and requires minimal training. First responders utilizing Jeep can see an overview of the environment as well as ground level pictures to assess damage. The Artemis construct is, is a group of entities coming together to create this, this kit. It begins with the SenseFly EBX drone, then it is incorporated into a kit by Tough Stump. That kit includes sensors, your EB aircraft, your laptops, and things like that. Thermopylae Sciences and Technologies and Hexagon US Federal come in on the back side of the kit and provide your Jeep server, your globe, your Fusion server so that you can add your Artemis content into your globe. Artemis is a quick to learn application. At Tough Stump, we offer not only the equipment and the service and support, but we also offer the training. We offer up to eight students. It's a four-day class, and we cover everything from the equipment, what it is, how to maintain it, to processing and ending with the final product. We start off in the classroom, and we'd like to get them out in the field as quickly as we can. This is the central body for the aircraft. The overall weight of the entire system is about 25 pounds when it's boxed up in its ruggedized carrying case. And we'll go ahead and assemble the wings. The aircraft itself is very light, uh, weighs 2.2 pounds. That makes it easy to hand launch, so we don't require any type of catapult or any assistance to get it into flight. To a trained operator, the launch is very simple. You just shake the drone three times, the motor starts up, does a couple of aileron checks, and then you rotate the drone up to 45 degrees and toss it into the air. The other good thing about Artemis is it's pretty simple. You put in basically your mapping mission, your start point, and your landing point, and then Artemis, the program, it just basically does it for you. 
Artemis is continually evolving. We iterate every month. For the end user, they control it. If they need imagery right now, it gives them the capability to go out and capture kilometers worth of data and put it in the hands of the user within hours. You control your Artemis kit. You control the collections. You control your priorities. If you know that this area is prone to flooding, for example, you can continuously monitor that to track the erosion, to track what flooding might look like if it occurs. The data that is provided by Artemis allows you to then do flood zone mapping, understand what the flooding will look like over time and how much time you might have before it becomes an evacuation situation. We try to take Google Earth and get all kinds of different imagery into it. And it aggregates all that content into a laptop for a user who's totally disconnected from a network. Communications infrastructure is often damaged or broken when a natural disaster strikes. And real-time data is crucial for saving lives. The Jeep and Google Earth partnership is a critical feature to allow for that continued real-time communication and updates between all rescue and recovery personnel. Artemis comes with four sensors. The standard soda sensor, which is a 20 megapixel camera and takes nadir shots, which are just straight down shots. Also, there is a 3D sensor, which will give you building facades in your point cloud data. There is a thermal sensor. It takes simultaneous electro-optical and thermal images. Jeep is a collection database, which is a standalone globe where you're able to post your data there, your imagery data, and be able to return to it and look it up. Your Globe server, your Jeep server, can be run through a WinTAC instance, for example. And then from WinTAC, you can download that data into MB tiles, SQLite tiles, what, whatever works for your team. And then that can be put onto your mobile devices to control operations, to move rescuers around in the field, whatever is necessary. Additionally, we maintain at Thermopylae and Hexagon a library of Artemis data. If we have Artemis data over that area, we will put it in your globe. Artemis is a one-stop shop. It provides you everything that you need to collect high-resolution data imagery within an hour and be able to come out with this map that you didn't have before or that may have been outdated. Artemis is going to be uh, important for all first responders. After a natural disaster, you may not be able to see certain landmarks or where you need to go. Now having this imagery, you can look back and be able to tell how you can get from point A to point B the most efficient way. Artemis can be used to solve any disaster situation. It's basically open to your imagination, how you use your sensors, how you use your data, how you maintain it, and how you visualize that for your teams. Artemis saves lives because it allows first responders to plan more efficiently for natural disasters. Artemis is not just a drone, but it is a toolbox of capability.